Well, hello, sunshine. We got uh, we got a little bit done. So we're gonna put this piston on here and uh, get some timing numbers. See where this new cylinder is sitting at before we go worrying about timing numbers, because that's liable to change. Our squish right there is we're running thirty thousandths again with no base gasket on a new cylinder. And I'm showing I'm showing right at a hundred, you guys. I'm showing right at a hundred before top dead center. Let's let's run her the other way. And I'm showing right in there again. Where are we at? A hundred, a hundred and a half. We're gonna call it a hundred. I better get out my spectaculars if I'm gonna try to see them transfers. Oh, gracious goodness me, oh my. 100, 110, 120, 123 on transfers. You guys concur with that? 90, 100, 110, 123. Uh, oh, let's run her again. Get her back down out of there and take a look at it again. I'm going to call it right in there again. Yeah, we're on the money. We're going to call it 123 on transfers. And I'm going to show that at... Ooh, doggies. It sure is. 67. 134 total opening. That's not enough. So we know where we're at now. Oh, there's there's you guys down there. I was looking up here where you normally sit. Let me move you. I think I think we know where we're going now. We're gonna take that out and get that cylinder marked up and start putting stuff where we want it. Now, it doesn't do any good, in my opinion, to make this intake great big. Due to the fact the hole coming out of your intake boot is only so big, so uh, if you made this great big, I've seen videos of people ground with so much they had holes showing here. Uh, to me, that ain't gonna help any. Uh, and you can actually, speaking of clues, you can see where that air fuel mixture was hitting this right here. So we're gonna grind out to that, and maybe, maybe just a smidge beyond. I've marked over them here. Let me see if I can see what you guys can see. And I can't because I ain't got my glasses on. Uh, hopefully the light's about right. But I marked those out so you could see those better. Uh, all the way around, all four spots. What those are, your air fuel mixture is coming out of these holes on the side of this piston and up the sides and anywhere else it can get there. But those holes feed it. And it has an opportunity to take in air in that cylinder from here to here. Okay. All this can feed them transfers. Well, you can see those holes are almost as wide as that skirt right there, right? Well, there's the hole that the air is going into. So the holes in my piston are actually blocked by this right here. So we'll get rid of some of that. We'll, we'll taper that in and give that just a little bit of a leading edge so it, it can go in there fast and and get a full charge. Like I said, we have dismal results on just bolting this on with a base gasket, essentially whatever come in the box. Um, but it's still better than a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, the saw run, the saw worked. Not as good as it did factory, but if you blew one of them up, well, I guess that's the price you pay. I cut, uh, I cut about 12 thousandths off the base of that. I felt it needed to be done, and and I wanted that to change my numbers. And I'll and I'll tell you how, and I can show you how it changed them actually. Uh, my intake was real high. Um, so my stock exhaust on the on the stock cylinder was 99 degrees. I didn't mind that a bit. 
aftermarket cylinder with a gasket see that raised it so much I was down to 93 degrees exhaust which just killed my static compression okay um, instead of compression instead of compressing for 99 degrees of rotation I was only compressing for 93 degrees so after I cut the base I was I wound up right at 99 again which was stock which was stock exhaust timing I'm happy with or yeah stock exhaust timing. I'm happy with that with the aftermarket cylinder and base gasket on it we were actually at 63 degrees intake timing which to me is way not enough that's 126 degrees of rotation I say I want to be at 150 152 so that's 25 26 24 to 26 degrees total opening of off of where I want to at least start being so after I I haven't done any grinding but just cutting that intake lowered that floor and now we're at 68 degrees intake we're all we're close uh, the timing numbers on this saw uh, the timing numbers on this aftermarket are close to the factory as in the ports are in the same position <clears throat> The base was just a little thicker. I shaved, that's why I shaved the base off. That put my timing numbers right back down to about factory. So, uh, and the, the stock one, the squish, how close we are to the top, um, how small we make our combustion chamber for you four stroke guys, or, or mill the block or mill the head, bring everything down. Um, that's where we're at here. Uh, how close that piston's coming to the top. Um, you measure that along the side, and I was 40 thousandths off the top. Or, well, I'm getting ahead of the game. The stock one, I was 30 thousandths off the top. I don't mind on a small saw like this. I don't, I don't shoot for it, but I don't mind 15, 18 degrees. I like 20, 25. Starts good. Not too much heat. Firewood saw. Um, I'm not trying to make race saws right I want something that's gonna last but run good so uh, 30 my squish on this da, 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 was 43 thousandths uh, way too much so between only having 93 degrees of compression above my exhaust plus it was compressing it into a bigger area so I didn't have near the pressure up here I wanted so we're back down now after I cut the base my squish is at 19 thousandths I'll live with that now like I say I didn't necessarily cut this down to gain squish it's an added benefit my intake port was at 63 uh, 63 degrees which is not near enough after I cut this it moved it up to 68 degrees and I didn't have to grind this any bigger and lose velocity and that's that's what I'm after I want them to just crammed in there like clowns in a clown car that's where we're at so right now uh, next thing I'm gonna do is get out the diamond burr and I'm gonna wish in one hand <laughs> and I'm gonna take and score score that uh, that plating in there so I can start doing some grinding and hope to goodness it don't chip now to get an idea where I'm gonna cut I've I've outlined this with my diamond burn took this coating off there so hopefully it don't flake yeah, it can flake off you go to cutting that but you can get an idea how big I'm gonna go with those lower transfers that's also got a lip up inside that I mean a sharp lip uh, which air is going this way it won't necessarily hurt it but we're gonna bring this down the lip is gonna create a vacuum and a swirl behind it plus air can start going in I'm gonna taper this up right up into here there's no reason for this to be blocked either I wanted to show you that lip under that transfer I showed you a while ago I could feel that lip you can see how big it is what is that 30 40 thousandths deep in there and just sharp no good that's no good we're gonna reiterate just a little bit there's the skirt on the piston so skirt and skirt air is gonna come up through the holes in the side of that piston and up through the sides and it's got to make it into that hole back there that hole right there the transfers uh, you can see how this air would come out of that and it's going to hit that cylinder wall right there 
nothing ever hits that as in that's not a wear point right there your piston never hits that area inside where I've got it marked out your piston never rides there nothing ever touches that nothing ever uh, your piston only comes down to about there your rings never come down that far put that in your mind's eye about how hard it is for the air to get into that transfer and we'll turn it over but you can see now how that air has an opportunity to get up into that transfer um, I've I've took this top part out which is the bottom but top as we're looking at it uh, I've widened those out and tapered those in nice and the back side of that actually had a hump in it and not in the right direction to turn that flow out air has to come in and turn and then turn this way so it's got to turn and twist uh, so we wanted it to turn well it had a it had a deal bumping up in there where it was actually wouldn't have an opportunity to bounce back now we're going to work on this intake a little bit like I say there's there's marks here where it shows that it's restricting even what the intake boot will allow back in here where my fingers at the stock cylinder up and down on that is about 330 thousandths no I just lied to you this one's 330 thousandths the stock one's 350 thousandths so it has 20 percent 20 thousandths uh, more more area at least up and down I have it measured side to side but I need some I do need some intake timing and I can either get it here or I can get it on the piston or a combination of both I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some of it here uh, just to see what this saw likes I, I'm gonna give it at least as much if not more intake area than the other had but then again I don't want to slow it down too much either so uh, there's the before picture now we've got the, ex the intake pretty well done uh, got a nice little rough sandpaper finish on it it's what you want <clears throat> of course that's the bottom didn't open it up much we'll check timing numbers go back together I want to sneak up on that I don't want to I don't want to overtime it don't want to under time it just kind of got the shape out sanded broke the edges <clears throat> I'm gonna work on the exhaust here just a little bit uh, we're going to beg it up just as much as that gasket if not just uh, we might grind away a little bit of this gasket too but there's no sense in just willy-nilly hogging that out only to find out the hole in your muffler is going to give it a flat spot to hit against there ain't no shame in cheating if you got to use spectacles plus a magnifying glass just don't let nobody see you all the cool kids make fun of you well we got the exhaust shaped about how we want it we come out a couple thousandths more here on each side to help uh, let that exhaust out from not just the center of the piston but all the way around so I think what we'll do is polish that up well I think we got the exhaust about how we want it it's tolerable it ain't perfect but we liable to liable to work on it some more anyhow it ain't too bad in there is it it's about time to fire up the ultrasonic cleaner throw this and the piston in there everything that's going on in the guts of it get my table cleaned off I think we're ready to put this together and see where we're at so far this will probably be the end of this video I'll get this put together so you can see what's what's going in it uh, I'll get it put together probably on the next video and hopefully do some test cuts and some dyno runs on it and some comparisons to the old one uh, see what we gained or lost I know we gained though. We'll just see how much. <laughs>